a new baby enters the world. And just like every child before him, he carries the expectation of a long and healthy life. But today, that expectation is higher than ever before, because this baby enters a new world, where our greatest dream to conquer disease and prolong life may finally come true. Through the power of genetic science and DNA. At the start of the 21st century, we are in the middle of a genetic revolution. Driving it is an incredible discovery that through all of us runs a single code of life called DNA. We now know that DNA guides our existence from the moment of our birth to the instant of our death. That our fate is written in this simple molecule and all its thousands of combinations that are our genes. The promise that we would all live longer, healthier, disease-free lives has come with the breaking of that code, first achieved by Watson and Crick at Cambridge University in 1953. We've been tracking two technology revolutions for the last 40 years, computers and genes. In the last several years, these defining technologies of the 21st century have begun to fuse together to create a powerful moment for a new economic and social paradigm in the 21st century. Genes are the raw resource of the 21st century. The question is whether we're on the verge of conquering most of our medical problems, our major diseases, things that makes, go, makes us go wrong? And uh, the answer is absolutely yes. We're investing heavily in our genetic future. It's estimated that there are more than 1,500 labs working on genetic medicine in the US alone. Our technology is going to have enormous influences on who we are in the future. Essentially, we have slammed evolution into fast forward. But where some are happy to embrace an unknown future, others see too much faith placed in untried technology. I think to believe that the scientific community has the wisdom and the knowledge and the foresight to create a second genesis that can perfect the first genesis, millions of years of evolution, is absolutely, it's pathological thinking. But what do ordinary people think? To find out, Discovery conducted a comprehensive poll to sample public opinion on genetic science in eight countries around the world. First of all, we asked if genetic science would benefit mankind. Two-thirds of Britons believe it will be beneficial, with the Americans feeling more positive at 82%. It opens up this whole new sort of realm of possibility, which can be really positive, I think. I'm hopeful for the future with DNA because it's going to help eradicate disease. Oh, no, I think it's very exciting. I think science has got to move forward. But many people believe that human genetic research is tampering with nature and as such is potentially dangerous. Most concerned are the British and the Poles. Least worried are the Danes. I don't think it's going to help anybody in as much as um, what have they done with it. Uh, it's very frightening overall to me because it's basically humans playing God and creating um, you know, new life form and it's just not, in my opinion, what we're meant to do with nature. It's just not, it's not natural and it's not God's way. On balance, when asked if the benefits from genetic developments will outweigh the risks, just over half agreed, though the British were the least convinced. But whatever people believe the future may hold, the fact is that the humble DNA molecule is affecting real people now. Genetic science is already transforming lives. <laughs>